Welcome back to another devlog. I've got some more progress to share with you, so let's get started. We now have a prototype for the primary attack of our favorite little old Telemon character here, which is Fireballs. He shoots out Fireballs because we kind of want him to be a wizard or mage type class. So when you click, now you shoot out Fireballs that blow up and it also damages enemies. So let me go ahead and summon an example enemy real quick here. And if I hit him with my fireball, as you can see, I deal some damage, which currently is my base damage of 20. We also now have functioning item spawning from chests. So let me go ahead and give myself some ticks. So I'll just do ticks. Let me give myself 99 bucks. And then I'm going to spawn a, I guess I'll do a small vault right here. It'll cost me 35. We'll open that up. And there we go. I got a common item. No models yet. It's just a cube. But as you can see, here I got a knife, which will deal additional damage to healthy enemies. So if I go ahead and summon a new enemy here, since he has a good amount of health, if I damage him, as you can see, I got new damage, which is damage of 35 thanks to my knife. But since he is no longer above 90% health, it reverts back to dealing 20 damage instead. And then if I kill these two guys, they should give me some XP from some XP orbs. There we go. There's some there and there's a few more. And as you can see, we got a functioning level bar as well. And as you level up, it also increases your damage and it increases your health. So if I summon a new enemy here, now I'm dealing 43.4 damage thanks to the knife and my upgrade in damage since I leveled up. There are several other items. Let me see if I can get another one from this vault. Okay, here we go. I got my chocolate bunny, which makes you luckier. So now I have a higher chance to, for example, get a critical strike. It's pretty rare and one chocolate bunny is probably not going to cut it. So actually, let me just give myself a whole bunch of chocolate bunnies. All right, I have 30 chocolate bunnies now. So if I hit this guy, hopefully I'll get a critical strike. Nope, I didn't. How about this time? This time? How about this time? Dang. I guess critical strikes are pretty rare. Let me try that again. Please give me a critical strike. Okay, there we go. Critical hit. I got a critical hit. And there we go. I got another critical hit and he's almost dead. And now he's dead. We also have an item that is similar to the Will of the Wisp where enemies will explode on death. It is the Light Blocks Jar. So let me go ahead and just summon an enemy here. And then I'll summon another enemy close by. And then if I kill this guy, he should blow up. There we go, and he killed the other guy, and then that guy blew up. So it kind of creates that kind of chain reaction that you know of with the regular Will of the Wisp. So actually, let me give myself a whole bunch of these Light Blocks Jars. Okay, so I have 15 Light Blocks Jars, and then if I kill this guy, hopefully it'll set off a chain reaction, and all of these different enemies that are scattered around will all die. So if I kill this guy, he's going to blow up. Kill those guys, those guys blow up, and then those guys blow up, and there you go. Will the Wisp. There is a space sandwich item which will improve or increase your base health regen when you're outside of combat. Currently, I don't have a system detecting whether a player is in or uh, not in combat. That's going to have to be later, but it just automatically applies the new regen. So if I damage myself here, I'm regening quite a bit faster. And if I give myself another sandwich, hopefully I'm regening even faster. And if I give myself, let me just give myself a whole bunch of these sandwiches. That should be enough. And then let me go ahead and just fly up here. And then I'll get some fall damage. And now I regen health very quickly. Another fun item is the healing potion, which will give you an extra health point when you kill an enemy. So let me summon an enemy here. Get off my head. And then let me go ahead and kill him. And there we go, I got an additional health point. Now my health is 111. Let me go ahead and summon another enemy and kill this guy as well. There we go, I got an additional health point. And then on top of that, I got the other amount of health thanks to the level upgrade. But then if I go ahead and remove this item from my inventory, let's say I lost it or traded it or whatever, it's also going to remove those two health points that I was granted, so if I remove it, there we go, I lost the two health points and now I'm back to 143 health. There are some other items relating to movement speed. For example, I could give myself a Bloxy Cola which increases my sprint speed, or I can give myself a Gola Cola 
which will improve just my general movement speed. And then I can combine them both together to move even faster. And as you can see, this is the pivotal gameplay experience of Paths of Peril when you have enough sodas to move like a bolt of lightning. And last but not least, the void is now functioning as well. So if you go and hop into the void, it'll move you back and you get dealt some damage because you fell too much. So we've got a working void with that as well. All I need to do is add some extra effects and polish it up and it should be a nice functioning uh, automatic teleportation when you fall into the void. So progress on the game project is still going strong and has been accelerated thanks to the help and skills of the other developers I'm working with. That is all I have for you today and I will see you next time.